In last night's Rangers-Blackhawks game, Jacob Truba, captain of the Rangers, absolutely ripped into one for his second of the year. Immediately after, he looks over to Athanasio and talks some smack, going, hey, you want the puck? You want the puck? Now, as a Pens fan, I'm not exactly a huge Rangers fan, but I thought this was great. To give some context for those that don't know or just missed it, a few weeks back, Truba laid a crushing hit on Chicago's Athanasiu. Now, it was a brutal hit, but a clean hit in my opinion. However, after the game, Andreas Athanasiu made the following comments to the media, saying Truba is known for hitting high and not playing the puck. Also saying, quote, that's his game. That's what he does. He's an $8 million man with zero goals, so he has to figure out how to do something when making that much. If you can't help the team i guess you try to hurt guys on the other team end quote now obviously that's a pretty lame thing to say and do going to the media like that and just quickly what's also important to note real quick is that that hit resulted in a bit of a brawl and saw a frustrated truba exiting the ice and throwing his helmet while screaming at the bench trying to get a spark going the loss to Chicago here meant the Rangers had lost 10 of 15 games all right so with all that in mind it leads us to tonight's game the Rangers, at this point in the game, were up 3-1. to one. After a big first period, saw Hiddle getting things going on a turnover, the breadman Panarin extending the lead to 2, and then nearing the end of the first, Kako bringing it to 3-0 to zero on a beautifully executed odd man rush. Now, early in the second, the Blackhawks jumped on a turnover, and Kurachev put a backhander on the net to score one off of a Jacob Truba deflection. Sometime later, and we're back to where I started the video. Sabinajad entered the Hawks zone, fakes a shot, drops it for Truba, and he rips home a 95 mile per hour slap shot for his second of the year, scoring in back to back games. And again, this is where he took his opportunity to slyly ask Athanasio if he wants a little souvenir. I also love Panarin's cheeky little grin here. Now, obviously, this was going to ruffle the feathers a bit more, but really, I think the captain of any team is there to rally the team, calm them when things get too hot, and fire them up when things get too stale. It's what leaders do. And every captain is going to have their own approach at leading men. And whether you like Truba's approach or not, it seems to be working. They went on to win this one 7-1 with goals from Trocek, Kravstov, and Brodzinski. That's seven goals from seven different guys. Just a completely different team at the moment. And it also means that since Truba did this, the Rangers have gone on to win seven in a row. Would you look at that? Seven goals, seven different guys, and seven in a row. Poetry. Now, you could say that the two are unrelated and you don't want to give Truba the credit, but if Truba is going to get blame when his team is underachieving, he then also should get some credit when his team is playing well. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.